Hi guys, Steph here. Ah, look at this gorgeous, handsome pen. Now this pen came from uh, one of my pen hauls. I can't remember when, that's unfortunately. I can't show you the before and this being the after. But this pen, quite simply, I had a, um, a customer, a viewer, who was asking me about pens. He was interested in a Mentmore fountain pen. I gave him two or three options and eventually with emails going back and forth we decided on this gorgeous handsome specimen what we've got here is a Mentmore Supreme made in England and made around so I would say maybe the late 1930s uh, 1940s as I say he decided on this one subject to restoration I've just finished it We've cleaned everything internally, we've put a new sack in it and as you can see it's a gorgeous handsome pen. Let's show you the barrel imprint, it's got a lovely clear barrel imprint on it that reads Mentmore Supreme made, made in England. absolutely gorgeous and you can see the color is in this sort of black silvery uh, green marbling with sort of flexes of red here and there okay I think it's a gorgeous handsome fountain pen now Mentmore Manufacturing Company Limited made pens uh, they made pens for themselves, they made pens for other major manufacturers, also under the Mentmore sort of umbrella if you like, they also owned the Platinum fountain pens as well. But the Mentmores, absolutely gorgeous pens, quality made fountain pens, as good as any major manufacturer of that period and as I say the period being late 30s 1940s um, the Mentmore they made many pens as I've just said some of them being the Auto Flow, the Diploma, the Paramount, uh, the Mentmore Supreme and as this one is the Mentmore Supreme the size of the pen capped 125 millimeters capped around the barrel it's a lovely chunky 12 millimeters in diameter we'll show you in a moment it's a button filler if we take it up to the cap there you can see it's got a quite a thin cap band there and then the very recognizable sort of meant more clip there sort of slight well quite straight tapering to you know a sharp point to the end you can see to the very top it's got the M for Mentmore and then to the top we've got this this little black stud to the top which complements complements the end of the barrel there and then if we unscrew the the blind cap there Okay, you can see it's a button filler. It's slightly at an angle for some reason. We'll try and maybe try and fix that or we'll see if it works in a moment. But let's take let's take the cap off for you. Let's show you the pen in numerous different angles and you can see it's a stunning example. Let's go up to the section there. You can see slightly concave section. It's got the Mentmore nib. Now Mentmore as well, I believe, made their own nibs. And this one reads Mentmore Osmic Iridium and then 14 karat gold. There's a sideways view. There's the feed underneath. It's got a ladder feed nice and clean as it should be 
Okay. And a lovely chunky pen to hold to write with. Now, as I say, this one's going to a customer, he's ordered it, but what we'll do, because I'm sure he'd like to see how the pen writes, so what we'll do, let's uh, give it a squeeze of ink. I think you could hear that, that sort of gushing noise tells us that everything is working fine so let's pop the blind cap back on there we go let's move the ink to one side bring on our little pad and let's see how it writes so what we've got is a a Mentmore Mentmore Supreme, dating the pen, sort of late 1930s, getting into the 1940s, and this one was made, was made in England, in fact it was actually made in a place called Hackney. Sorry, we missed the T in East in East London. But writing, as you can see, very nicely indeed. Does it have any flex? Mm, if it does, very slightly. But yeah, a little bit of flex, not a great deal. You can see it's given us a little bit of variation in the line. Lovely right, I would say maybe writing with a medium with a medium line. So what we'll do, we'll flush the pen out before it goes off to the new owner. So I hope you enjoy your pen, Joel. As you can see. It's absolutely gorgeous. So there we have it. The Mentmore Supreme, made in England. Lovely, restored and ready to go. I hope you've enjoyed looking at the pen as much as I enjoy showing them to you people. Don't forget, leave a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel. Just down there, give the video a thumbs up as well. But for now, I'm just going to say Slavo Kriini from me and this gorgeous pen. I'm just going to say bye-bye for now.